Hey there, hey, it's me. Um, so, big news, Nocta Macro has released last night, well, it'd be their night. Right now it's daytime here in the US. The new update for the Simplex where it adds a whole bunch of really cool things. Uh, there's a great video on the Nocta Macro Simplex Facebook group or that uh, Dalek has put up. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, what this video is, is gonna show you how to do it on a Macintosh, on an Apple computer, because that was a big question that a lot of people had. Because the main update program is specified for Windows only. Um, it's very simple. You go to a website, you download what's called Parallels, you load it to your computer, Opt for the 14-day free trial because this will probably be one of the only times you ever use this in a long time. Or if you want to opt for the subscription fee, you can go for that too. Um, but you can download the free trial and then delete it and then later on do the free trial again. I've used Parallels for a lot of Windows-based programs. I just take it off my computer then re-download it when I need it. Um, what it will do is it'll download... It takes a little bit of time but it will download uh, Windows 10 operating system onto your Mac so you can run it side by side with Mac OS at the same time. Um, if you need to use Windows computer products on your Mac that's it, and you already know about this stuff, then you're already ahead of the game. Um, but yeah, you download the update file, open it up in Windows, it'll decompress it, create up a setup file, You'll go to the setup file to follow the instructions, which I'll show you in this little screen recording here. All right, so you have a Mac and you want to do the Simplex update. As you notice, I have it's up here. How did it get there? Well, I'm using what's called Windows Parallels. So, well, it's when it says Parallels. What you need to do is go to your Safari, go to search, and just look for Parallels.com. Just download Parallels. You can have a free trial. It lasts for 14 days, so it won't cost you anything. And you can always just uninstall it. If you want to keep it, it's kind of expensive. They want $79 a year. Just uninstall it. Don't worry about it. Um, so you'll activate that. You'll go through a whole big process. Um, you'll go to uh, basically download Parallels Desktop for Mac right here for home. And just follow the steps. It'll get you all set up and ready to go. And what'll happen is you'll go through a whole Windows update process where it'll open up Windows 10. Okay, but it'll allow you to run the executable file, which is going to be, which I, I suggest put it on your desktop because it's easy to find. You're gonna open up that folder once you get Windows all loaded on your Mac. And then just hit the executable, it'll set up the whole thing and then you will have, close this out, this little guy here. And what it will do is it'll open up the updater utility and just follow the instructions. Pretty simple. You're going to plug in the USB cord to your uh, machine. Um, of course, it's going to want some drivers, so we'll just go ahead and do this. Uh, okay. Um, but basically, it'll it'll get you to where you need to go to get it started. Um, this is telling me I need to get some drivers installed on this Mac. Yeah. Do you want to allow this map to make the yes, I do. Boom. Of course I do, because I want it to do. Uh, seems currently not installed. You will be in. It'll be in. Yes. It'll be installed first. So we got to run the installation wizard. So it's got to get your down your your drivers for the USB, boom, and then it'll open up. See, then it has different little things. Here's the one for the Simplex. There's one for the Impact, the Cruiser series, 
and Amphibio series. As they have updates for them, you'll have that. So you'll detect your detector, and then you'll select the file. Which mine, of course, is on the desktop. And I'm going to open up this one here. I'll hit open. And there's the system update right there. And we hit open. Of course, it's, no device is detectable right now, but it says download the update file from Nope to Detectors website. Make sure that the detector is off and the coil is attached. Plug one end of the USB cable to the detector and the other to your PC or your Mac. The backlight will light up and the detector will start charging. Click select file below, open downloadable downloaded file. The computer will search for a suitable USB driver. Please wait until the driver is installed, then click detect a device. The bu this button will not be activated unless the update file has been selected. Click start update. This button will not be activated until the detector has been detected select or successfully. If a problem occurs, close the update tool and reopen. Once the update is con completed, the device will turn on and continue charging. Turn the device on or turn off. Oh, sorry. Once the update is completed, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, the device will turn off and continue charging. Turn the device on and check the software version. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what you'll do. Not too hard, is it? So that's what I'm going to do next, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, we're going to do this from a Mac using Parallels. So I will be right back. All right, I'm doing this in my easy chair, but... So let's get this set up. We'll go ahead and plug this in. I'm doing this one-handed, so bear with me. Let me just figure out where the pins want to go. There we go. Plug in your charging cable, just like your uh, coil. Give it a couple wiggles, twist, wiggles, twist, and it's in. Okay, so that is plugged in. I have my computer here. It's now off. We need to plug in the USB cord. That's the USB one. And it should come up as charging. There we go. It says new external device has been detected. Let it go through its thing. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the screen. All right. So we have done step one. We've done step two. We've done step three. Step four has happened. Now we're going to hit select file. We're going to click on this one. Don't worry about that. Excuse me. We're going to hit open. So we selected the file. On the computer, we'll search for a suitable USB driver, which it's already done that. And we'll hit click detect device. Boom. Detection successful. Oh, excuse me. Required to be installed. So let's go ahead and install them. The audio on my computer is not the best, sorry. So we'll go ahead and say yes. And we'll go ahead and extract. And then we'll do the install wizard. I accept this agreement. Always accept it, even if it means you're going to sell your firstborn. So this is one ag aggravating thing about parallels. It'll keep doing that. Just bear with it. So now it's installing the drivers. We're going to go finish. Yeah, it sounds lovely. Come on. 
Next. <laughs> Finish. It's going to do all this stuff again. All right. So. What we'll just. Ah! Yes, it's aggravating. Okay. So we detect the device, and now we can click Start Update. So let's hit Update. Boom. Progress started. Please wait. Look how quickly that's taking. Not doesn't take long at all. And update complete. The machine has rebooted. We'll go ahead and hit OK on here. This is just a second instance that it opened up. We'll go ahead and close that out. Like I said, we'll close that out. And the machine is doing its thing. Okay, so now we can disconnect and we are done with this portion. All right, so please pardon the glare. This is probably not the best place to turn this on, but let's go ahead and see the update. Press and hold and Simplex Plus comes up. Yep, and look, we have the update. So we have our new bars, we have our extra depth added, and we have the new different screens up there. So of course we can scroll through them. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Sorry about the light. And the all metal. And then Go to the settings. Yeah. Got all those different things you can go through now. There we go. So there's ground balance, there's the frequency, Wi Fi. The uh, vibration, the backlighting, the little flashlight, and this is your new threshold tone. So you can actually turn that up and down. You can play with that all day long now. So there you go. And there's a few little added gizmos here and there. Go out. Of course, there's your new depth indication. It's going to go up to seven. If you got more depth, that's your mineralization. Oh no, this is your mineralization. Sorry, that's your battery. <laughs> and uh, yeah. So yeah, it wasn't that hard. I now have a fully updated Simplex, and I did it on my uh, very old. This is a 2009 early 2009 MacBook Pro. So, and I'm not even running the current version of iOS. Uh, I could probably do it on my MacBook Air, which has the current version of Catalina. Um, but I thought I'd use it, do it on the big workhorse because, well, granted, I have a much larger drive on that one. So, that should answer most of the questions. Um, if there's anything technical, I might be able to help you out. I'm not sure. I would just... Be very careful about um, the install process. Um, just wait for the drivers to download for the USB because it's got to download Windows-based USB drivers to run in that Windows virtual machine. And then just follow the instructions. It's not hard. So, yeah. I hope that helps you all out there. Um, I've been, like most people, kind of stuck in a house. Uh, I can go out and detect. It's just I've had a lot of housework stuff to do, a lot of, a lot of projects building up, and uh, also just goofing off with my kid. So just having a good time. Uh, I was off work this week. I hope to get out hopefully tomorrow. Uh, if not, it won't be for a little while. I might have to do an after work hunt or something next week. So I go back to work next week, and then I'm supposed to be off again the week after that if this whole shutdown continues. Um, but 
um, back to what we just did. I hope that helps you guys out. I know there's a lot of people out there that use Macs. I use a Mac, um, but I have found that there's ways around everything when you use a Mac. Yeah, it takes a little bit of work, but you can do it. I just showed you. So, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Enjoy this new update. It's got a lot of really great features, and I hope you find some great stuff with your Simplex. I'm looking forward to using mine, and heck, That'll probably be the next machine I drag out with me. I'll give the Amphibio a rest and take this one out to the Relic Patch. Um, there is a spot I want to hike up to, which having a more lighter weight machine will be a lot better. Uh, I don't know if I'll find anything up there, but hey, with the added depth and everything with the Simplex, who knows what I'll find. So we'll see what we can do with this. And uh, after, I guess that's about all I have for you. So you all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. Sorry there's no metal detecting fines. It's just, it is what it is right now. But uh, y'all take care. Good luck out there. Happy hunting. Stay safe. Bye for now.